about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to another food haul I've actually been to Asda this week I didn't mean to go to Asda get comfortable it's a long story <laughs> basically today i plan to go to aldi i go shopping every single thursday and i either get a tesco delivery or i go to a little aldi um sometimes i go to iceland and sainsbury's but today i decided i was going to aldi so i drove down there and when i got there there were traffic lights outside and there was like an excavator blocking the entrance so i was sitting at the traffic lights and they're actually, they're knocking down our Audi and moving it. So I thought, oh, they must have already started. As I started to drive past Audi, I looked in and saw people going in and out and realized that if I'd just gone round the excavator thing, then I could have actually gone to Audi. But you know when it's too late, you've like gone past, there's a queue of cars behind you. I'm already in the middle of this town that I never go to. There's roads closed everywhere around here at the moment. So I was just like, I don't know where I'm going. So after about a 20 minute detour, I thought, oh, I'm near Asda. So I don't think I've ever done an Asda haul on this channel. I've been doing these hauls for like, I don't know, almost two years now since I started YouTube. I don't think we've ever been to Asda. So I thought I would do an Asda haul for you. And it's kind of good because Asda is also owned by Walmart. If you like USA food hauls and you normally watch Walmart, might be nice to see the difference, I don't know. So what I will do is take through everything I've bought and then at the end I'll let you know how much I spent and my meal plan for the coming week, which I'll also leave in the description box, but I have a board now to write it on, a board, to write on my meal plan. So let's have a look at what I've bought anyway. Right, so here is everything I've bought this week. We will start over with the fresh fruit and vegetables. So I got some strawberries, as you can see. I like Asda because they put the prices on a lot of their foods. So these are a pound. I've got some courgettes. One of you absolutely lovely, lovely people, Carol, you know who you are, sent me a spiralizer as well, just as a gift because she thought that I'd like to use it. Um, and she sent that out and I haven't had a chance to show me using it yet, but we absolutely love it. So this weekend we are going to try some spiralized courgettes. She also sent me a bar of coconut chocolate because she knows I love coconut. Carol, thank you so much. You're such a lovely lady and your family are very, very lucky to have you and I'm really appreciative, but I'm gonna try a spiralized courgette at the weekend. I bought a cucumber, red seedless grapes for a pound. That was really good as well. These were less than a pound for, I think there's six, five, five oranges. We're really enjoying our oranges at the moment, so hopefully these are nice ones. Mixed peppers for a halloumi bake. Oh, I'll actually get out that seasoning. I wanted to show you a couple of things I picked up in Tesco last week as well. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make a halloumi bake. I bought some bananas, the smallest little gem lettuce in the world. I mean, it's like the size of, I don't know, it's like the size of my little finger. They're tiny. These were 65p for two, but I didn't actually realize how small that was until I got home. But anyway, smallest little gem lettuce in the world. Some spring onions, and got some baby plum tomatoes, some spinach. Steve and I are going to attempt to cut back on carbs again. We were really successful with that before our holiday last year, and it kind of fell off the wagon a little bit. So gonna try and eat more spinach-based foods instead of pasta and things. I got some apples, as you can see, £1.50. These are gala apples, and we just go through a lot of apples. And I think that's everything fresh fruit and veg-wise. Over the back here, I got some of these young simply breaded fish fillets. These are the Omega-3 ones. They were £2 for four. And also some Captain Birdseye fish fingers crispy batter ones. These were a pound for eight. These are really nice. I like the battered ones. They're a bit... Um, I think they're nice and breaded, so we've got some of those. I got some um, yogurts. These were 12 for three pounds, so strawberry shortcake is the boy's favourite, but I thought I'd mix it up a bit. I got some of those. I got three milk chocolate digestive balls, um, three white chocolate or vanilla balls, and three toffee hoops, and that was three pounds, which is a really good price. Crinkle cut oven chips. Meat wise, I got two lots of chicken breast fillets. These were 4 79 a kilo. So one was £3.14 and one was £3.42. I got some of these Heck Paprika Chicken Sausages. These are new ones out. 
I really like the hex sausages. I love the chicken Italia that's got like the spring onions in. These are supposed to be three pound and they were two pound roll back. They were two pound ninety eight down to two pound, and they're like really smoky looking paprika sausages. So I'm going to make a sausage tray bake where you just like chuck it all in the oven in a tray and hope for the best. Sounds good to me. So got two packs of that because we have five of us. These are like chipolata size, so ten's probably not enough. Some bonus chicken thigh fillets to make some jerk chicken wrap kits. If you watched my home bargains haul, you would have seen the wrap kits that I bought. And I'm going to put those in that. I got some wafer thin cooked chicken. And they also do southern style chicken, which I thought sounds quite nice. It was the same sort of price uh, per 100 grams. But I thought I'd get some of that as well for a change. Two lots of refrigerators. There are three bags in each of these. And they're only 95p in Asda and they're quite good to take in like pat lunches. I have got a pat lunches video coming out soon and also a huge meal prep video where I prep everything that I need for like lunches for the week and I filmed me doing that as well. So those two videos are also coming out soon. Um, I've got 30% less fat extra mature cheddar, strong and punchy. I thought we'd give this one a try. Some of the less fat cheeses aren't so nice but I thought we'd try the Asda one. Clover like because we always buy that and that was a pound. Halloumi because why not? <laughs> I always buy halloumi and these were the 30% less fat so I've got two of those for the bake that I'm making. Actually I'll go and get the thing for that. So I actually bought this in um, Tesco the other day it was half price so 50p. Hot sweet and gingery sweet chili halloumi bake and it's one of those bags and you put your halloumi and peppers in it and shake it together and put it in the oven. I thought that's a really nice idea. So I got one of those. I'm going to try that as a meal this week with some rice. I also got some pots of joy. These are only a pound and these are the white chocolate Cadbury buttons flavour. So they look really nice. I also cannot resist looking at candles whenever I go in a new store. And somebody on here actually recommended the lime basil and mandarin because I can't find my favourite blackberry and bay anywhere like at all in the country <laughs> nowhere seems to stock it but i tried i smelt this one somebody said try it and i smelt it and it smells like a really really nice men's aftershave a really sort of fresh anyway that was three pound and it's quite a big double wick one so it was supposed to be four pound that was three pound and then i saw this i thought this was really cute it says gemini and it's got like the constellation on and this was £1.50. Obviously, I'm a Gemini. That's why I got a Gemini one. And it's a really lovely smell. I don't know if it's like a coconutty or vanilla, but it's so nice. And that was £1.50. So I got that as well. Don't ask. I, I have no idea why I've got two lots of different free-range eggs. I think I picked one up, like, at the front of the store on offer. And then when I got to the back of the store, because my trolley was piled up, I put another one in thinking I hadn't bought one. And then when I got to the checkout, I was like... Oh well, I'll use them. We use so many eggs anyway, so it's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit odd that I picked up two different ones. I do that kind of thing all the time. I got some semi-skimmed milk. Um, there were no toilet rolls at all in Asda. Like, I mean, not one. People were really getting stressed. We've got lots of toilet rolls anyway, because I usually buy like a really big pack when I go shopping, but I don't understand why people are bulk buying toilet rolls. I really don't. Um... And I'm sorry if your shops have run out. I also couldn't get a Tesco delivery slot yesterday when I was thinking about going to Tesco. They're all booked out and they're never all booked out. So everyone's bulk buying pasta and toilet rolls. <laughs> Except for me, because I didn't buy any pasta and I didn't buy any toilet rolls. Um, I don't know what that's got to do with milk, but I just thought I'd mention it. Let me know in the comments if you've got toilet rolls near you or pasta. Or is this going on over the entire country? I don't know. Uh, we've got some tomato ketchup. We've got some peeled plum tomatoes, two tins of that, some sweet pickle, went to have cheese and pickle sandwich the other day and we didn't have any and I keep forgetting to buy it so bought that. <laughs> got a bottle of wine for the weekend, Steve and I like to have a drink at the weekend and to be honest I was sucked in by the picture. It reminded me for some reason of the Animal Kingdom in Florida, obviously Disney's Animal Kingdom and there was all these different bottles with like boring pictures of I don't know, castles and things. And then they had this. It was an offer. It was £4.50. It should have been £6.50. But I just saw it and thought, I like the picture. So hopefully that's nice. I got some long grain boiled rice, eight of those. Some chocolate shreddies or cocoa shreddies. These were £2 for a massive pot. 
extra virgin olive oil because I didn't have any in the cupboards. I thought I'd try this smoky barbecue marinade. Bailey requested Hunter's chicken this week as one of the dishes. So I'm gonna do him that at some point over the next week or so. Um, so I got that for that. These are what I thought we'd have with the halloumi bake. These were two for a pound and they're the twisted flavor rice. And um, one is Jamaican rice and peas, which I love. I actually make that myself sometimes with coconut milk and kidney beans and things, really good recipe. Um, and then this one is smoked paprika and lime. I got some salad cream. This is just their smart price one. And my dad swears by it. He said it's like nicer than the like Heinz, is it Heinz? Yeah, he said it's nicer than that. So I got that one as well. I got some wraps, wheat and white wraps and some white mini wraps. These are really cheap, they're like 54p or something. I got some salt and vinegar rice cakes which I dropped on the floor so they're probably just rice <laughs> rather than rice cakes. I got a tasty taco kit obviously, I'm going to be making tacos. I only got one kit. This was really good value though, it's £1.50 and you get the seasoning and the salsa and 12 shells. Whereas the shells on their own are £1.38 for 12 so I was like for 12p you're getting the seasoning and the salsa. Um, I only got one kit that serves four because Steve and I will probably have the meat but not the shells and we'll have it on like spinach or something. I got two of these King's Milk Vitamin Boost. I actually only bought this because it was 69p reduced because we like King's Milk 50-50 and I thought Vitamin Boost can't hurt, can it? I got some orange and mango squash. I got some lunchbox lunch box bits because we are running out so these are all a pound penguin mini biscuits mini gingerbread men and these nature valley canadian maple syrup crunchy bars there's 10 bars in there like five packs of two they were all a pound and then these were half price i think they're one pound 25 for five cinnamon drizzle squares i got the boring old dishwasher salt um i've got some surf this was three pound rinse aid and some fairy, these were £10 for 78 which was the best price of anything in there other than their own value ones. So I got those. I got a 12 pack of Doritos, this was down to £2 which is really good for a variety pack of Doritos. And you got cool original flavour, tangy cheese and chilli heatwave. And then I picked up some of these Seabrook crisps because Oscar likes the pickled onion ones. But they do cream cheese and chive and they do Canadian ham. I suppose you had a packet of each, you've got like a ham and cheese sandwich, kind of, yeah. Anyway, so that is everything I bought in Asda this week. I was quite impressed. I spent just under £100, I think I spent about £98, which isn't bad for a family of five, and they're literally like five adults. So I didn't think that was too bad. And my meal plan is now up here. So I will zoom in a little bit. But if you watch my home bargains haul, then you'll know that I bought a set of two slate placemats. But I just got my chalk pen and decided to write on those instead. And the little F in the corner is a paperweight that I picked up in a charity shop. But obviously, I just got F for Folger. So on my meal plan, we've got jerk chicken wrap kits, halloumi bake with rice, a smoky sausage tray bake, taco Tuesday. We've got puff pastry tart with salad and new potatoes. I'm gonna be making those from like scratch. I left the puff pastry tart on from last week. It's like a rollover meal. There might be a couple of rollover meals, but I think sometimes, well, everybody does this. You put a meal plan out and then even the best laid plans change, don't they? And I always end up shuffling one or two meals over. I don't know anyone that does a meal plan that actually sticks to the whole thing. So I've shuffled that over to next week because I've still got the ingredients. Chicken and pesto pasta may have been on last week's, but we didn't end up having that either. And I've got some leftover chili con carne and I'm going to make stuffed potato skins. And these will be with like veg or salad or something. So that is what we're having this week and I will leave it written in the description box as well. So that is it for this week's food haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to thank you all for watching this video and clicking on this video. And also if you're subscribed it really means such a lot to me. And without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to turn this into my job. And it is my dream to be able to do a job that allows me to be here for the children when they need me as well. So I am extremely grateful to every one of you that supports our channel. And I will be back very soon with a meal prep video, a packed lunch video, and I've also got two more slow cook videos coming up. So I will see you guys very, very soon. This is what we waited for.